Hey YouTube, Everyday Survival here. Today we're talking chickens again. Um, we've been free ranging here. Uh, let them out in the coop in the morning, give them a little food, let them take off in the woods here. As you can see, it's pretty uh, wooded here. And uh, it's about half and half, half woods, half open area. And we ended up getting a, a coyote attack a couple days ago in broad daylight. Luckily I was home and was able to uh, shoot at the coyote. But um, that's not the main problem. The main problem is uh, the, the chickens start laying eggs, which is good. The bad problem is they're not laying where I want to. All right, you know, during the day, uh, it was it would be hot and the chickens were running in here. They were roosting in the trees. It was all great. Uh, and it was working out good until uh, I was waiting for them to lay eggs and got a little inquisitive and went in here and I found that they were laying eggs in the woods here, which is not good. So, uh, you know, made that mistake and now we're gonna uh, cut back to free ranging to an hour or two at the end of the night and uh, see if we could get them to start laying in the nesting boxes and if they don't uh, we're gonna stop the free ranging you know permanently for a while until they start uh, laying in the nesting boxes so if you're free ranging and you're not finding them in the nesting box and they should be they're probably laying them in the woods and we found about eight of them in the woods yesterday <coughs> So I cut back their uh, range time to about an hour and a half tonight. And we'll see how that works out. So uh, free ranging, they're happy. Uh, they really barely use any of the food to feed that I have. But uh, obviously this isn't working if they're laying eggs out in the woods. So we're going to work on that and uh, see how this uh, works out. Um, cutting the range time down uh, drastically and uh, I don't think there'll be a problem. They should start laying in the nesting boxes. Okay, the other problem is we got two batches of chickens, a young and an older batch. The older batch is bullying the younger batch, and every time it's to get some food, uh, they're making them wait. To separate them, I uh, added some features here. I got some logs from the woods and trying to get them separated in here. The coop's kind of tight right now. We're not at, we're not, I'm sorry, the run is not the size we want it yet. And we want to wait to expand it next year so for now i'm trying to keep them separated and that includes the food i'm putting separate uh food, food bowl the food bowls in here so they could eat at the same time that seems to work out it's kind of playing i'm intervening but eventually they're going to have to work it out together but uh, this feature in the run really is helping out when they're all in here together uh, they get on these um logs i elevated and uh you know so if you run into the same problem, this could work for you. Put some features in there for them to, uh, so they're not bored and kind of help them stay separated. As usual, if you enjoyed our video, please like and subscribe. Thanks for visiting.